I just know. I woke up today. And I just wanted to end it all. And the crazy. The crazy part about it is. I don't know why. Hi, my name is India, and I deal with depression. I just woke up crying today. I don't know why. I, um, this is something new to me, you know, getting on camera. Getting on camera and trying to express yourself, not knowing if people are going to judge you or not. <laughs> I'm 26, and it's been like this since I was like, I don't know, 2022. It's been so long, it feels normal. And it's not, I know it's not, because I, I wasn't born like this. I don't know if it's a lack of iron, lack of vitamins. I don't know. The pressure can be a disease to the brain, to the mind. But it's not a disease like that you're born born with. Um, there's many things that you can escape from it that can help you and that's by being positive and when you guys see me doing reactions and I'm all geeked up my bad I'm all geeked up you know dancing all that you know that's who I want to be that's how music make me feel but if I'm not feeling it that day I'm not gonna get on camera cuz I'm gonna be like this yeah I felt that, but it's not going to be excitement. It's not going to be entertainment. It's not going to be who I really want to be. Um, and I just woke up today, and yesterday I was going to like, I was going to post videos. I was going to do reactions. I was, I was going to do all the above. And then I just woke up today, and I just started crying. I just, I just woke up staring at the wall. People that do live follow me. I do, I do so marijuana. <laughs> It just helps my nerves, it helps my anxiety, it helps me calm down. I feel trapped. Um I feel trapped. I feel like I'm a lonely girl in this big cold world. I don't know. I mean, growing up I was bullied and if you guys have seen my depression video, this is my second one. Um you um guys would know that you know um I wasn't born with a goat spoon. Um it was more like a plastic one. <laughs> um Project Baby. My mom did the best she could. Like when I was 5, we lived in apartments. Four kids, my mom, you know, Dad was in and out the house, was a dope boy, he wasn't no good, cheated on my mom, all he did was beat her, and, um, I'm pretty sure that still fucks with my head today, um, that don't define me, it don't, it really don't, cause, like, I don't want people to see me as a fucking weirdo, <laughs> cause I'm depressed all the time, <laughs> and I'm not, like, I have weird ways. <laughs> Everybody has weird ways, but I'm not just this person that, you know, seeks attention by crying. <laughs> I wish I didn't wake up crying. I wish I, I wish some days God didn't even make feelings for humans. <laughs> At least not for this human. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm the baby of four kids, and like, growing up, I always cling to my mom. And now growing up, me and my mom don't even have the best relationship that we need to have. Um, communication is our biggest problem. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I went to a therapist um, three years ago for the first time. 
Um, just got out of jail. <laughs> we leave that for another story time. Another story time. Um, but it wasn't like nothing crazy. I didn't rob no bank. I didn't kill nobody. You know what I mean? But I did hurt someone, and it made me humble. It made me think twice. It made me um. Nobody should take you out your character. But like I said, that does not define me. Um. It just, it makes me learn life. It makes me experience life more. Um, when I first went to jail, I got out. And uh, the court ordered me to go to therapy, whatever. So I went and did that. And it, it I, I was spilling out what was going on in my life. And I just started crying. And it's hard when it's a camera, you know what I mean? And people are viewing you from a, you know, a phone or a laptop. You know, that's different. But when you like face to face with a person, it's different. Your emotions in front of that person is just like, I'm vulnerable now. I'm vulnerable to y'all now. Because I'm not strong enough. And I know I am. I know I am. It's just, I have my days where I'm not strong at all. I just feel so weak. And I know, I know there's more to my life. I know there's more success to my life. I know I can go beyond this depression. I know I can go far beyond. I know I can, I can dream big. And I know I can, I can, I can accomplish all of it, my dreams, if I really wanted to. I just gotta get out of my mindset. I gotta quit being depressed. I gotta start taking vitamins. I don't know, iron, something. Something gotta give. Um... We relaxes my anxiety. It relaxes my depression. But not all the time. Not all the time. It's just like I just keep smoking. I just keep smoking. Who really want to smoke? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a hobby. Yeah, it's the way you cope with life sometimes. Yeah, it take the stress. It take the balance off. But who really just want to keep smoking cigarettes, FTEs, or whatever you smoke just to ease the pain, just to make the stress go away? Nobody really fucking want to do that. Nobody really want to do that. I don't. I don't. <laughs> so today, I'm giving in. I'm going to go see my therapist again. Um, Hopefully she takes me back. Because um, I missed a few appointments. I quit going. I just, I, I just, I just started building stuff back into me when I was just, just starting to let everything out. <laughs> Just when I was starting to let everything out, I just quit going. So, I'm going to call her and we're going to go from there. Um, Hopefully, she can help me. Madness is not going to help me. But, hopefully, talking to a person face to face is going to help me like it um, did before. Um, so, feel for me, okay? So her name is Jacqueline. That's how I went. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay. And we are going to call her. I went to a um white and painting thing and um I drew this. Which is pretty awesome. Um it's like where you go drink wine and like you paint, express yourself and like this describes me only if there was like a person, like one little girl sitting right there at the edge of the tree. This was define me. This would definitely define define me. The lonely girl in this big cold world. Have you sent her to Sharon? Yes, I'm trying to get a hold of Jacqueline. Does Jacqueline work there? Um, no, but I've got the phone number of where she does. Um, can I please... Hang on one minute. Let okay. me look that up. Okay. Okay, Jacqueline Thompson's phone number is... Okay. 2300. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, this is Jacqueline Thompson. I'm unable to take your call right now, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, I'll return your call as soon as possible. If this is a mental health emergency, please dial 911, call the crisis hotline at 1-844-427-4747, or go to your nearest emergency room. Thank you. Um, Jacqueline, this is um, India Bush. I went to you like two two years ago, I think. Um, I had one cancellation, which I do. The fine was like $25, I think. I owe you. Um, and I was just wondering if I can come back and see you. Um, my name is India Bush. My number is 513. Thank you. I really wanted to say please call me. <laughs> Honestly. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So... So I thought today was going to be a perfect day. I thought I was going to be entertaining you guys. As you guys entertain me with the comments. The reactions you guys ask for. Um, I'll get to all of them. Just not today. I hope most of you guys understand. And if you don't, you don't. You know what I mean? But the real ones, they, they going to fuck with me. They gonna fuck with me. I don't know. I just know. I woke up today. And I just wanted to end it all. And the crazy the crazy part about it is I don't know why. I don't know why.